On August the 2nd of 1781, a battle took place here under the command of James Craig. James Craig led a British troop force of 500 men to come to this area of Rockfish, which is one mile south of Wallace, North Carolina. Under his command, he was able to capture at least 40 patriots that were pledged their life to the freedom of our nation. We know that that was a setback in which the Patriots lost that particular battle. But we also know that at a later time that Craig himself had to retreat to what is known now as Charleston, South Carolina. We understand that as believers in Jesus Christ that we feel like at times we are losing battles left and right. Prayer being taken out of school, abortion on demand seems so rapid these days. So many things seem like they are defeating the church on a regular basis. But I've got great news for you. Just as we know the outcome of the American Revolution, where the British were defeated and the Americans received their freedom and then they received also their independence, I can tell you, my friends, reading the Bible, I can assure you this, that we might lose some battles, but at the end, God wins this war we're in. This spiritual battle, this war we're in today, God has given us total victory. So do not get discouraged just because you feel like that you've lost some battles. Don't get discouraged because you feel like the church has retreated to a certain degree. Remember this, when you read the Bible at the very end, you know this for sure, is that our side wins. And what side is that? Those who are washed in the blood of the Lamb, those who are called children of the Most High God, and those who have pledged allegiance and received their freedom that come comes only from Jesus Christ. So I encourage you today, you might feel like those patriots so many years ago that were right here at Rockfish as they lost that battle, but at the end of the day, I promise you that you will see victory because Christ is victorious. Pastor Ken Smith here, and you've been watching Transforming Lives.